was about six years old. Completely different story or situation, but I feel like it can apply because I believe this is what God is going to do. Um, he came to me, it was the last day of the revival, and his mom was really, really distraught because the next day, Monday, he was going to go to school, and well, the, his problem was this, he was born with his vocal cords not completely uh, um, formed, and because of that, he would talk like a monster, yeah, okay, he couldn't. And they were always making fun of him, and just, you know, how kids can be. Pretty cool. Well, the mama brought him up. I prayed for him. Nothing happened. I was heartbroken. I mean, I wanted so bad for God to heal this little one. For whatever reasons, at that time, he didn't. I left the, I left the revival. About a year later, I came back. And uh, first night of revival, and service is over, and Pastor and I are, are talking, and there's these little rugrats running all over the place, making all kinds of noise, and yelling and screaming. And the pastor don't do nothing about it. And I'm like, why is he allowing them to run like that? And then the pastor saw me kind of bothered by it, and he kind of smiled. And then he says, do you remember, now I'm trying to remember what he think. remember his name? Oh no, you weren't with me yet, no. Emmanuel. <coughs> Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God with us. Do you remember uh, Emmanuel? I said, yeah. He says, that's him. That's the little guy making all the noise. I said, what? He's yelling and screaming. When I left, he couldn't talk. He says, this is what happened. He went home. He was so distraught over the fact that God didn't heal him. He cried himself to sleep. While he was asleep that night, angels came into his room. And through the Holy Ghost, they operated on him. And when he woke up in the morning, he was talking normal. I wasn't there to receive the blessing, and it took a whole year for me to understand what God had done. But God is God. He can do anything that He wants or however He wants to. Right. And so, you should come back. And you should tell us what you're going to be feeling in your back tomorrow. Amen. Yes. And testify. Amen. All right? Amen. Enough for you? Woo! Praise you, Jesus. Just don't pop no wheelies, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.